Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and I'm the owner of Beach Babe Soapery and today we're going to make orange blossom soap. It is um, a very nice scent. I found this one from Candle Science. Let me go ahead and show you the bottle here. It's very floral, um, very low hints of citrus, and that's essentially what an orange blossom or orange grove smells like. You don't really smell the harsh orange citrus scent. You have more flowers. Um, I personally pick up a lot of honeysuckle scent in this uh, fragrance. Um, a lot of people pick up the jasmine. And yeah, you guys are going to have to try it out and let me know what you think, what you kind of sense more, I guess. Anyways, let's get started. Um... I have my oils here. They're all warmed up and then cooled down. I have my kale and clay in there. I have my lye solution all cooled down. I actually made it a couple days ago. So it has a little lye lint in there, but that's okay. Oh my goodness, I have to tell you guys this. Every time I say lye lint, it reminds me of a particular gum commercial way back when where the girl goes, you lint liquor. And I just, I crack up every time. I'm trying not to like burst out in like laughter right now, so. Let me know if you guys remember that commercial. It was a great one. I'll give you a hint. Dirty mouth? <laughs> okay, anyways, let's keep moving forward. Um, I have everything prepped today. Um, the colors that we're going to use are Tequila Sunrise from Mad Micah's. Super gorgeous, super shimmery, shiny mica. We're also going to add in snake island it's more of a blue green kind of green it's a deeper color i absolutely love it can't wait to use that one and then we're going to use a little bit of titanium dioxide which is right here it's mixed in bottle i don't know if you guys saw that or not i hope so anyways um so yeah now i want to give you guys a little bit of a backstory with orange blossom my grandmother had a lot of citrus trees in her backyard and springtime Everyone in the neighborhood could smell the fruit trees blossoming in her backyard. And of course, a couple months later, we have all the kids in the neighborhood wanting an orange or a loquat or an avocado from one of the trees, and we're more than happy to give it to them. My grandmother um, would make me eat her the pink grapefruits in the backyard, and they're so, so sour. But what she would do, and it cracks me up to think about it, is she would... Cut the grape. I mean, the grapefruit. Let's put it this way: the grapefruits were about this big, and um, she would cut them in half, so they'd be about that tall. But she'd add about that much sugar to the top. No kidding. There, I, I, sometimes there was like more sugar than actual grapefruit juice. So that's my fond memories. I just kind of want to, you know, bring you guys back to my childhood. I guess um, when I found this fragrance oil, I kind of got my heart skipped a beat. I'm like, I'm really hoping that this kind of pulls through with those orange blossom scent. And it did. I opened the bottle and I almost went to tears because it brought me right back to my childhood. It brought me right back to my grandma's backyard. And yeah, I'm good. I'm going to cry. No, I'm cool. I got this. I'm not going to cry. Not until later. Okay, um, let's go on. So, we have uh, the oils here. Let's get the live solution started or put in there. Matter of fact, I'm looking at my table right now and realizing I'm missing one very important ingredient, the fragrance oil. I'll be right back, guys. As usual, I'll get my on the spatula. All right, I'm going to spin this up for you guys and be good to pour. Oh. Almost forgot the most important part. Where is this soap gonna go? I don't have the soap mold. Goodness.
All right. Can y'all see this? There we go. All right. Colors are all mixed in. Right, let me clean up this a little bit. And we're getting ready to pour. It's getting pretty thick, but not overly thick. So I think I can get a nice swirl out of this. Okay, now getting ready to swirl. Now, when I swirl this, I don't want to go all the way down. I really want the two accent colors to stay on top. So I'm just going to kind of go halfway. Make sure you get in the corners. Now, let's see if we can get the rest of this out of here. I want a lot of the white to stay on top. Now the green is still very kind of watery, so I'm going to be very careful. Now I'm going to do something that I like to call the peekaboo method. with the colors, but I have to wait until this sets up a little bit more. Let me go bang this, bang, bang this down on the floor very gently. getting there. If you can see I'm tapping it on the sides and it's a little jiggly. I don't think it will support any more soap at the moment and this is very very runny still. Let's see if I can mix this up with the chopstick. Okay I'll bring you guys back when that green thickens up to the point where I can put it on top. And here's a close-up. Isn't that green just fabulous? It is so dark and rich color. Oh, I just love it. I think it makes a perfect green for this orange blossom soap. But there you have it. Uh, you can subscribe for more videos. Um, I try to post weekly. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, there you have it.